Hi friends, in our day-to-day -day life, when we have food, it seems so simple to us, but actually there is a tussle or a war going on within our body with that food. The teeth trying to chew it, the various digestive juices, some from the liver, some from the gallbladder, all getting inside in the intestine as well as the stomach to digest this food. So actually, it's a complex mechanism, isn't it? Since it is a complex mechanism, so this entire process must be under some regulation. You're absolutely correct. The digestive activity, that is the activity of the gastrointestinal tract, is under neural as well as hormonal control. We'll talk about the neural control in a separate video altogether. Not to worry about that. In this video, we shall talk about the hormonal control over the activities of the gastrointestinal tract and see how the hormones play an important role. The secretion of digestive juices in a gastrointestinal tract is under the control of hormones which are released both by the gastric as well as the intestinal mucosa. So in this video, we shall talk about some of these hormones and some of the important ones are gastrin, GIP, that is gastric inhibitory peptide, secretin, cholecystokinin pancreozymin, duocrinin, enterocrinin, vasoactive intestinal peptide, vilikinin, and somatostatin. We shall talk about each of these hormones one by one in detail. We'll first talk about the gastrin hormone. Well, friends, let me tell you that this gastrin hormone is secreted in the stomach and this stimulates the gastric glands present in the stomach. We have already studied that the gastric glands are present in the stomach. So this gastrin hormone will stimulate these gastric glands to secrete the gastric juices. Next, we'll talk about another important hormone known as gastric inhibitory peptide. This hormone is also known as enterogastrone. Well, from the term itself, you can say that gastric inhibitory peptide, the word inhibitory, which means it is inhibiting something. And exactly this is what it means. This hormone inhibits the gastric secretion, that is the secretion from gastric gland. And hence you can say that this hormone will be released only when the food from the stomach has come into the duodenum part of small intestine. So this hormone, gastric inhibitory peptide, is released in the duodenum. Next we shall talk about secretin hormone. Let me tell you friends, Secretin hormone is the first hormone which was discovered by scientists. And yes, the secretin hormone is also produced in the duodenum. Now, what are the functions of this hormone? First of all, the secretin hormone releases bicarbonates in the pancreatic juice. And what does this do? This makes the pancreatic juice alkaline because we know that alkaline conditions are very, very important for the small intestine so that the enzymes can act in the small intestine. The next important function of secretin is that it helps in the release of bile juice. The secretin hormone also reduces the gastric motility and secretion from the gastric glands. Next, we shall talk about another important hormone known as cholecystokinin pancreozymin. Do not get worried by this huge terminology. We all know that big, big names are actually very simple. Let us understand this to make it simple. So this hormone cholecystokinin pancreozymin is released in the small intestine. Now let us talk about the functions of this hormone. The major function of this hormone is that it contracts the gallbladder to release the bile juice. We all know, friends, that bile is stored in gallbladder. So this hormone contracts the gallbladder so that bile juice is released. 
One of the other important functions of this hormone is that it causes the release of digestive enzymes in the pancreatic juice. So after the cholecystokine and pancreasymin, let's talk about another important hormone, which is diocrinin. As the word says, diocrinin, the word dio is there. So hence, you remember that this hormone is released into the duodenum. We all know, friends, that the duodenum has Brunner's gland. So this hormone will help in the release of mucus from the Brunner's gland present in the duodenum. After the duodenum, let's talk about another important hormone known as enterocrinin. Well, this hormone enterocrinin is released in the small intestine. Let us now talk about the functions of this hormone. The enterocrinin hormone stimulates the crypts of Lieberkahn glands, which are present in the small intestine. We all know that crypts of Lieberkahn are intestinal glands, and these intestinal glands release enzymes in the intestinal juice. So this hormone, that is enterocrinin, will stimulate these crypts of Lieberkahn and release intestinal enzymes in the intestinal juice. Next, we shall talk about another important hormone known as VIP. It's not a VIP. The name is VIP. And what does it mean? Vasoactive intestinal peptide. Where is this hormone released? This hormone is released in the small intestine. When? When the food has reached the small intestine. So what are the functions of this hormone? This hormone makes sure that the peripheral blood vessels of the gut are active, they are dilated. And also this hormone makes sure that the gastric acid secretion and the gastric motility of the stomach is decreased. So friends, we have discussed the vasoactive intestinal peptide hormone in detail. Next, we shall talk about another important hormone, that is willikinin. Look at this word, willikinin. You can see willi, and there you can make a guess that yes, its function must be somewhere related to willi, and we all know what are willi. Willi are finger-like projections present in the small intestine. So let us see the function of this hormone, willikinin hormone which is present in the small intestine, will accelerate the movements of the villi in the small intestine. And what does this do? Because of the accelerated movement of the villi of small intestine, there will be faster absorption of the food. So we have talked in detail about the villikinin hormone, and now let us talk about another important hormone, that is somatostatin. Now, this hormone, somatostatin, is released by pancreas. And which cells of pancreas? We know that pancreas has two parts, the exocrine part and the endocrine part. The endocrine part is known as islet of Langerhans. And we also know that this islet of Langerhans of pancreas has three types of cells, alpha, beta, and delta cells. Let's come back to the point. This hormone, somatostatin, is released by the delta cells of islet of Langerhan of pancreas. So having seen the site of production of somatostatin, let us now talk about its function. Well, we all know that the alpha cells of islet of Langerhans secrete glucagon and the beta cells secrete insulin. So what does this somatostatin from the delta cells do? Well, this somatostatin, which is secreted by the delta cells, will inhibit the secretion of both insulin and glucagon and keep them under check and control. So we see that we even have policemen inside our body. Not only do you find them on roads, but they're also within our body. And yes, they also help us in performing the functions of our body.
So friends, with this, we have come to the end of this video where we have discussed all the important hormones, their source as well as their function in detail. I hope things are crystal clear to you and any questions darted at you regarding these hormones, you give them the answer and in a positive way. So let's conclude this video session by summarizing the important points. Gastrin hormone is released in the stomach and it stimulates the secretion of gastric juice from the gastric glands. Gastric inhibitory peptide, also known as enterogastrone, is a hormone which is produced in the duodenum part of the small intestine and it inhibits the gastric secretion and motility. Secretin is the first hormone discovered by scientists. It is released in the duodenum and it releases bicarbonates in the pancreatic juice as well as the release of bile from liver. Called cystokinin pancreasimin hormone is released in the small intestine and this hormone contracts the gallbladder to release bile and also causes release of digestive enzymes in the pancreatic juice. The duodenin hormone is released in the duodenum part of the small intestine and stimulates the Brunner's gland of duodenum to secrete mucus. The enterocrinin hormones are released in the small intestine and this hormone stimulates the intestinal glands that is Crips of Lieberkan to release intestinal enzymes in the intestinal juice. Vasoactive intestinal peptide is released from the small intestine and this hormone dilates the peripheral blood vessels of the gut and also decreases the gastric motility. Villikinin is a hormone which is produced in the small intestine and it accelerates the movement of villi in the small intestine. Somatostatin hormone is released from the delta cells of islet of Langerhans of pancreas and this hormone decreases the secretion of insulin from the beta cells and glucagon from the alpha cells. So friends, in this video, we have talked about the important concepts of hormones and how they affect the digestive activity. I hope you are crystal clear about this and any question darted at you, you will be confident enough to answer them. In the next video, we shall talk about some of the digestive disorders and the movement of the elementary canal. So stay tuned. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.